Radiation therapy, also called radiotherapy, is another common treatment option for some types of lung cancer and works within cancer cells by damaging their ability to multiply. At Desert Comprehensive Cancer Center at Desert Regional Medical Center, we spoke to Dr. Judy Jackson. We asked the doctor about the role radiation oncology plays in lung cancer treatment. Radiation oncology is an integral part of lung cancer treatment. What radiation therapy does to the body is it comes from a machine that's outside the body. The, an actual fine-tuned beam of energy is then passed into the patient to the area where the tumor is at, including treating areas where there might be some spread to lymph nodes or other areas of the body that can be treated by this beam. The actual machines themselves have significantly improved with our ability to be able to target not only the tumor, the surrounding tissue involved, but also to target and locate the tissue that's sensitive, that doesn't need to be involved in treatment, and protect that tissue. So we can spare so much and save so many side effects in that regards. Radiation therapy is delivered based on the location of the tumor, the type of tumor, meaning what type of cancer is this. And then within like lung cancer, we have a couple of different types of lung cancer. And of course, the health of my patient. How well is my patient doing? What do I have to work with in this patient who has either been sick for a very long time or just walked in and said, I can't believe this is happening to me. Most patients we are seeing about six weeks, maybe six and a half weeks of treatment. The dose is delivered in a small interval dose every day, Monday through Friday throughout the week. And again, it's all pinpointed right to that region of involvement. I see very few symptoms and side effects from it. A lung cancer patient equally does very well. The biggest thing we tend to see, maybe a little bit of sore throat. It, it truly varies depending on the body part I treat. But the big thing really is to make sure I educate my patients, teach them, tell them how I want them to eat, what I want to see in their diet for supplements, and then watch them closely through their treatment course. Dr. Jackson talks about the radiation oncology team. The radiation oncology team is extensive. Not only do I have multiple therapists delivering through the machines, I have my physicists and my, my dosimetrists planning the, the equipment. I also, of course, have my medical team, my nurse, my, my nursing assistant, and of course my receptionist helping me bring all those new patients in to be seen and get their treatment plan started while I have others being treated at the same time. Dr. Jackson talks about the importance of early detection of lung cancer. If we can have early detection, we can find people with very small tumors. Small lung cancers can be quite easily cured. We're seeing cure rates in the upper 80, 90 percentile. Those were numbers that were never heard of for regular lung cancer when you presented with symptoms, cough, some chest wall pain, something like that. It was tend to be too advanced. When we caught people when they showed up with symptoms, those patients, maybe, maybe we had a 50-50 chance or even less of curing them. Someone who shows up, who goes to a lung a screening program, a lung cancer screening program, and has an exam and finds a small spot, let's say smaller, the size of a dime, we can go in and either resect that tumor after it's diagnosed, or we can even use a small focused beam of radiation to a very high energy and completely annihilate that tumor within the lung putting that person right back home just a few days later. So any chance we have for early detection helps us save lives. Our ability to diagnose them early has significantly improved our ability to provide cure. And I think that's truly what the goal is when they walk in the door, is that you know, it truly takes a team to, to provide that cure for our patients.